So imagine yourself uh, answering IELTS speaking with an examiner and the examiner asks, what do you like to do in your spare time? So would you rather answer, I love deciphering books because I can attain knowledge from them or just simply, I love to read books because I can gain knowledge. So definitely the second one would be better. And in this video, I will explain the three most common mistakes IELTS students make when answering IELTS speaking. Okay, here's the first one. You must use big words. So this is definitely not true because I have also demonstrated how you could answer uh, just a simple question with simple words. So IELTS students think that they need to use overly complicated advanced words for them to get a band 7 plus in IELTS speaking. This is the most common mistakes IELTS students make. And in fact, you know, this could lower the IELTS speaking score because of how unnatural they sound. So instead, try to focus on the natural collocation of words and try to use topic related vocabulary and you will be good to go. So the second most common mistake is that you must have a British or American accent. So actually accent isn't one of the criteria in IELTS speaking. The most important part is you pronounce the words correctly. So this is pronunciation. The correct intonation, sentence stress and individual sounds that a person makes when pronouncing English words. So you must have a correct pronunciation and accent doesn't really matter in IELTS speaking grading criteria. So in order for you to improve, I would just ask you to practice your fluency and coherence the rest will come later naturally because you know if you are fluent you can definitely uh, produce a lot of common vocabularies this will improve your confidence and at the same time it will improve your pronunciation vocabulary and grammar as well okay the last one is you must speak the truth so if the examiner asks, describe an overseas trip that you like. And if you haven't been abroad, you know, I know that this might sound a little bit makeup story, like a makeup story, but you can make up stories depending on that. And the most common mistake students make is that, okay, I haven't been abroad like ever in my life. So how could I answer? And they just went silent and they just sit there without answering. Or maybe they will be stuttering because they don't have that idea. They don't have that story. So this is really important for IELTS speaking. And here you can make up stories. It doesn't have to be an absolute truth. Um, you can make up stories based on other people's point of view, like your parents, your friends, or maybe even take the story from one of the, your favorite movies. So it can be your story too. The most important part is they are testing your language and they are not testing the content of what you are answering. So if you encounter some unfamiliar questions, don't just sit there and don't just be silent. Try to answer in other people's point of view and you will do just fine. So the last advice is that for you to prepare IELTS speaking effectively, I have collected uh, videos of our past outstanding achievers and they have given the test in the exam. And I want you to look at the videos and I want you to learn from them. Okay, so I hope everyone get their required bench score. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.